Phytic acid, also known as phytate, is a super nutrient. Unfortunately, there are people out there who demonize it because it locks away some nutrients. Well, a little bit more on that later, but they are so wrong. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of scientific papers demonstrate at the human level, the animal study level, the cell level, phytates are actually beneficial for you. We find them in nuts, grains, seeds, beans, and tubers. And people say, well, don't have the nuts or the almonds. Most recently, I've seen people on, on the social media saying that because it's got phytic acid. Well, guess what? Have them. Get the phytates. Phytates are brilliant for you. First of all, they're potent antioxidants and anti-inflammatory. And as you know, because you've seen so many of my other videos, that this is the cornerstone of fixing all those chronic illnesses, reversing these chronic illnesses and reducing the risk of developing these chronic illnesses. And so hence, we see all the benefits from gut, bone health, dental health, diabetes, cardiovascular, kidney, gout, it's neuroprotective, uh, Alzheimer's benefits, Parkinson's, immune system, and even some cancers. So this is the type of research out there in terms of the hundreds of studies done. When you look at the first one, the gut, which is my pet topic, of course, when it gets to the large intestine or part of the small intestine at the end, it starts to ferment. And when it ferments, any minerals that might be caught up in the phytate, in the phytic acid, are released again. So you get them, they're just delayed, kind of like a bit of a taxi ride through and then the, the minerals are released. So it's fermented and the minerals are released. But also in the process of that, it helps breed up positive, beneficial gut species, the good ones, what you probably call probiotics, and additionally increases the biodiversity, which is really what makes a healthy gut microbiome. So having these type of foods with the phytate in has multiple benefits in terms of the gut microbiome. They produce what are called short chain fatty acids, propionate and acetate, and these have been found to improve the intestinal barrier. Now you what, what's the intestinal barrier? That's the stuff people call the leaky gut, IBS, IBD. That's the stuff that leads to all the chronic illnesses. Our gut lining is semi-permeable, but you know, it lets a few things through, but now it lets a lot more. So this, the phytates, actually help repair it. So it's doing brilliant work down in that large intestine. And the research on these show it's anti-cardiovascular, metabolic syndrome, and cancer, just from the gut alone. Then we go to the bone mineral density. And this is a big issue for literally everybody over 35, but particularly women in their perimenopause, postmenopausal era, and the increased risk of, of osteoporosis. Also links, by the way, with lots of other um, uh, bone conditions like osteoarthritis as well. But the, the research shows that phytates increase bone mineral density. Now these are done in both animal and human studies. They, increase, uh, they decrease the osteoclasts. So these are the ones that take the calcium off the bone and break the bone down and circulate it. And then it ends up getting the, literally the calcium in the arteries where it shouldn't be. Uh, and these osteoclasts, it, it decreases these. It increases the osteoblast, which puts the calcium on the bone. It improves bone stem cells, which are the progenitors of the, they're the ones that actually help build bone from the beginning. It increases uh, an increase in phytate is linked with being bone protective in postmenopausal women. So in, in studies where they've looked at postmenopausal women, the ones who have the increased phytates, phytic acid, they have a decreased uh, risk of any injury. And this shows up in, a, in another study where 300 postmenopausal women, they had decreased oste osteoporosis bone fractures, where it really counts a reduction in the fractions, fractures as a result of increased Phytates. Phytic acid is also cardiovascular protective. In other words, it reduces the risk of heart attacks and strokes and other associated heart and cardiovascular illnesses. So it decreases vascular calcification. Vascular calcification is the calcium that forms on the inside of your arteries, which is the real risk of heart attacks and strokes. In fact, if you've got plaque, calcium plaque on your arteries, there's a three to four times increased risk of cardiovascular disease, having a heart attack event or a stroke event as a result of it, because it makes the arteries hard and rigid, unlike cholesterol, by the way, which is nice and soft and pliable. So getting rid of that vascular calcification, it's rebalancing it, remember, it goes back onto the bone where it should be and out of the arteries and other places. 
It's been shown to lower blood pressure and rebalance cholesterol so that the right balance of cholesterol, the HDL, the LDL, and the oxidized cholesterol is all better in balance. Decreasing something called C-reactive protein, which is the major indicator they use for inflammation. And again, a major factor they use to measure the risk of heart attack and stroke. So a cardiovascular event. Decreased oxidation. And these two, inflammation and oxidation, are by far the two biggest risk factors for all forms of chronic illness. Then it takes us back and, and shows us that it continues to rebalance the calcium and it decreases calcified dental plaque. So literally, the, the plaque in the arteries, it starts to actually break that down and decreases oral collagen degradation. Phytic acid is also very effective in terms of helping control diabetes and weight. It decreases the blood glucose, which you know is the major problem associated with diabetes. It decreases the glycated hemoglobin, the red blood cells, which get sticky and block together and can't do their normal everyday functions. Their glycated hemoglobin, it decreases those. It also decreases all the other glycated damaged molecules in the arteries as a result of the high sugar levels and, and some of the toxins we get in our food and so on. So it decreases that. It decreases leptins. So you don't feel as hungry and you feel more full. Hence, it's associated with an increased feeling of fullness. So you don't overeat. Great, isn't it? So uh, as a result, in my studies, they've found that it decreases body weight. When they have literally some phytic acid put, extra phytic acid put in their meals, that they decrease their body weight. And as a result of all these, it decreases diabetes complications. Now, it should also be mentioned that it decreases uric acid and as a result of that, gout. So if you're a gout sufferer, first of all, watch my video on gout. Second of all, get on to the foods with high, which are high in um, phytic acid, like the almonds and the seeds and the nuts and all those. It's also neuroprotective. Isn't it amazing, all of these benefits? And there are some people out there saying, don't or avoid foods with it. No, get the foods that have it in it. They're neuroprotective. First of all, it crosses the blood-brain barrier. This is the barrier that protects the brain from toxins and allows nutrients and foods to get in. And it's able to get across. In uh, human studies, it's actually been shown to increase academic and cognitive performance. So you can imagine an extra nutrient getting in the brain to do all this good work out there, cleaning out probably some of the other bits of plaque. And in longer term studies to do with animals and so on, they show it inhibits the beta amyloid precursors. Beta amyloid is the plaque, the sticky parts in the brain that are absolutely linked with Alzheimer's disease. So it stops the precursors and it stops the development of beta amyloid plaque. Again, great reason to get these foods, isn't it? Same here, it decreases the ex excess iron. Iron sounds good as a nutrient, but an excess iron in the brain leads to increased oxidation, increased inflammation, increased damage done as a result. And in animal studies, it's been shown to improve Parkinson's symptoms in these animals. Great step forward, increase your phytic acid. Phytic acid also has huge potential in cancer prevention and even in treatment. The research is now overwhelming and it shows that because it's anti-inflammatory and antioxidant, which are the cornerstones or the key triggers of cancers and the development of the cancers, it has that mechanism by which it's preventing them right at the grassroots of the formation of the cancers, increases immune function, which is the ability of the immune system to identify and help eliminate cancers, apoptosis, which is a cancer cell death. What happens with cancer cells is that they lose their timer to actually die and keep growing older and older and older and older without that timer on them. So it increases the cellular death of the cancer cells. It decreases metastasis, which is the spread of the cancers around the body, cell proliferation, which is the growth of the cancers, and decreases the blood supply to the cancer. So as a result of all these studies done on animals and humans and a few in human trials and showing very beneficial results here, in the prevention primarily, but in a couple of cases, even treatment. So in colon cancer, um, colorectal cancer, and both breast cancer, it's both prevention and treatment. There's been positive results in clinical trials with humans in prevention and treatment, and of course in the cell and animal studies. In the other one, cervical, prostate, blood cell, skin, and liver cancers, the results have shown overwhelmingly in the prevention 
of these cancers. So phytate, the increased phytic acid, the lower rates of these cancers. So it lowers the risk of all these cancers. So when people tell you don't have phytic acid because it blocks the nutrients, remember, first of all, first of all, it has all those other benefits and here, overwhelming benefits for cancer. Now, what does that mean? Well, I couldn't find any studies on aging well or living longer, but what we do know is that the foods that contain phytic acid, the nuts and the seeds and the tubers, all are linked with aging well and living longer. So we'll just make that assumption at the moment until the research is done. If you like this information and you think it's of value, please subscribe below, share this with your friends,